Ross became involved in 1975 when I first joined South. I played a couple of hundred games. So he followed all of those games with my mother. He became a past president. He was a life member and also the patron of South and the major sponsor for now over 42 years. Back in the early 2000s, I'd never heard of motor neurone disease and nobody I knew had heard of motor neurone disease. I remember he got to the point where he couldn't get the petrol cap off at the service station, um, turning a key in a lock, turning his car on. A friend of his did some research for him in about 2003 and searched the world and came up with the name Perry Bartlett. He said, you must see this person. So we quickly went over to see Perry at the university when he first moved up here in the Ritchie building with a team of four or five people. Perry really was about the only person that was found locally that was doing something. And there was no care, no nothing set up in those days. It was very, very difficult. He eventually went into a wheelchair and had an electric wheelchair. And he, even in the wheelchair, actually, he still came to work. He had someone driving to work every day, sit behind the desk. Part of the MND, that was a big thing that upset him, was that his brain was absolutely perfect till the day he died, but his body just completely failed around him. Dad passed away in February 2005, and at the end of 2005, South decided they would like to support the Ross McLean Fellowship and did the very first fundraiser up at the club. And I was told a couple of years ago that the Ross McLean Fellowship, through QBI efforts, our efforts, our friends' efforts, and just people in general, had raised well over a million dollars. Ross would love to see what's happening now because when he and we first got involved, um, it was for the researchers providing facilities for them and a cure just seems so far away. So over the last 14, 15 years, it's fantastic. And with Perry's long-term approach to it all now, it looks like there could be a cure on the way. But it's wonderful to see that after, I think his 30 years of research, it's coming to fruition now with his clinical trial next year.